Welcome to the Brand Theory Podcast, the podcast for helping you uncover your passion, realize your purpose, and take the aligned action. Together, we're going to prove the theory that when we live our lives on brand, the possibilities become limitless. I'm your host, Danielle Marchesi, branding expert and business coach. Let's get started. Welcome back to another episode of the Brand Theory Podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects in the entire world, television. (laughs) And more specifically, we're going to be talking about how to create a universe, a lot like the universe we see in our favorite TV shows, for your brand. One that your audience is obsessed with, can't get enough of, wants to binge your content, wants to binge your free value, and wants to join your next program, your next course, your next service, or buy in onto whatever product you're launching next. So I'm going to be covering just a few of the TV worlds that are very familiar to us. There are a lot more. I kind of chose ones that I feel a lot of our brands will fit into in different ways and how we can relate these worlds to our specific brands and the stories we want to tell. So you know we've been talking a lot about storytelling and the future of marketing and branding is really in this storytelling model and how just think about you and me and what we do in our average life is we're always consumed by these stories whether they're real or they're fake they're a story that kind of grabs us atten- our attention and keeps that attention until the end that's a tv show a movie a book um or even the news they're telling us and they're reporting us to us these stories that they feel are important for us to know but they all have a beginning, middle, middle, and an end that keep us attracted, that get us attracted and keep us engaged until the very end and till that kind of call to, act, call to action in the marketing world. And that is the difference between stories that we will see in the marketing world and stories that we will see in TV and in movies that our stories we want to tell always want to end with that call to action, that invitation to engage with whatever it is we are offering. So one world that we are all familiar with is the nine to five world. So shows you'll see in the nine to five world are maybe like The Office is a super obvious one or um, Ugly Betty is an office is kind of takes place in the workplace or any kind of those shows that take place in the workplace the majority of the time. That doesn't mean that we're not seeing them outside the office and in their afterlife. In their afterlife, that doesn't make sense to me. Their life after the office. (laughs) But the majority of these stories and the show takes place inside their work life. So this is actually the most common world type of world on TV. The stories in this world peek behind the curtain of industries, careers, and the workplace. So if this is the kind of story you enjoy watching or if this is the kind of story that you would enjoy showing to your audience, what does that actually mean? What does that mean for your brand and marketing? Well, that means inside your content, why don't you show us what it's like behind the scenes of your business? Your audience will love being able to relate to the ups and downs that happen during your day to day and relate to, I guess, like the interwoven stories that happen throughout your day. So as a business owner, There's a hundred million things we're trying to do at one time, right? Schedule doctor's appointments. If we're parents picking up kids or arranging rides to the soccer field. If we are like me trying to buy a house and trying to run a business and trying to get better track of their health. All of these stories are interwoven into the overall story of me running a brand and running a business, building a brand and running a business. So having these subtle subplots if you will make our overall story so much more engaging so if we can show a little bit more of what that's like to record your podcast what that's like to work with you what that's like to work with your significant other when they really annoy you or when they really show up for you or what it's like to get really thrown off by a last minute request if you can show us some of those things we're going to feel your audience is going to feel so much more related to you so much more engaged with you so much more like you understand what they're going through and that is think about your end storyline though think about what you want them to be joining you on if you're launching a new program if you're launching a new course if you're um, marketing a new product line, a new line of digital products to 
make their work life more efficient, whatever that end result is, whatever that call to action is in these subplots, in these larger stories, think about as I'm going through the rest of these worlds, think about how that ties in. So a nine to five world, let's say you are launching a new service that teaches people how to arrange their social media or organize their social media way better than they have because they had pretty much no strategy and they need a strategy. The story of the nine to five or these behind the scenes, they can show us how you struggled with that too. You struggled with trying to find the time to organize and pre-plan and execute your own social media at some point and how your clients kind of took the front runner of your entire business and your your business took the back burner but you came up with this perfect solution to curate the perfect social media plan and carry that and plan it and execute it that works for you and now you get to teach other people this so show us the that in and out of that ups and downs of what that was like when you didn't have that figured out make that scenario relatable to your audience okay Next subject or next world is family matters. Family matters. This is the second most popular world on TV. And these are stories that focus on unique families, crews, gangs, and situationships. So these are one of my favorite shows, Modern Family. It's the old school Family Matters. It's the old school Full House, the newer school Fuller House. Those types of shows that really give us the full picture of what these families or gangs or friends are like. So a How I Met Your Mother would really fall into this or a How I Met Your Father, if anyone's watching that, would fall into this because that they are their own family and we become very, very invested in what happens to each of them. In each one of their storylines, we are invested. So what does this mean for your brand and marketing? If you have a team, if you have internet besties, your audience will love seeing these relationships play out as much as you can. You're not going to have an Instagram live with your bestie every single week, right? You're not going to showcase your team every single day because we have jobs to do. But the little bits and pieces that we can get of that behind the scene really give us the full picture of how your brand and your business exists. People and humans are just naturally curious about those things. They want to see and get as much of the story as they can, especially before making a big investment. So if you're a coach and you're selling a new product or sorry, a new service, a new program, a new course, people, believe it or not, are going to stalk you. (laughs) I did it with my coach when I hired her. People have said they have done it to me before they hired me. They're going to scroll and they're going to just binge everything that they possibly can on your content. And if they can see the internal works of your team, they're going to want to feel like they want to be a part of that back and forth. They want to be a part of that, you know, friendship that you have inside with your team or they want to... They want to meet your significant other that you are running your business with. They want to just, they like want to feel that they already know you before they opt into your service or your program. And I know that sounds crazy, but think about how how many times are your favorite Family Matters worlds, right? So for me, that's Modern Family. Do you know how many times I would think about like, wow, If I were on the show, which family would I be in? What would be my scenario? What would be, who would be my best friend on the show? What antics would we get into? What trouble would we get into? What's, you know, when would I come in and be the hero of the story? Or what would be my storyline? Or what would be my story archetype and my my big rise to to my, my story overview? What would be my kind of story arc is the better word? What would be that for me? The people are saying, your audience is saying the same thing about your business and your brand and they want to be a part of that. So if we can show them what it's like to be a part of your brand or what it would be like to be a part of your program, that makes the yes, getting to that yes, so much easier. Okay, so next TV world is growing pains. So the stories in this world feature life phases we all experience at one point or another. So a 90210, a fuller house, our full house actually covers this a lot. 
A Riverdale is a perfect example of that. A Veronica Mars is a perfect example of that. So what does this mean for your brand and marketing? Well, just like the growing pains of our awkward teenage years, our businesses also go through their own version of growing pains. So if we can, if we're not afraid to be authentic with our audience and share a little bit about what you've learned throughout the years of your business, your audience will find this relatable, authentic, and you it positions you as the expert in your field. So it positions you as, oh, she's been through this before. He's been through this before. They've been through this before. If they can do it, I can do it. Or if they have figured out how to do this and they're offering a solution to this, they're offering a paid for service, they're offering a free webinar, I'm going to opt into that. I trust them. I relate to them. They're funny like me. They have a dog like me. They are obsessed with coffee like me. They watch the same TV shows with me. Whatever it is that you're sharing, that personal side, if you can show, but especially those kind of awkward moments that happen as a business owner, if you're not afraid to show little tidbits of that, to to share little anecdotes of that, uh, about the time, you know, you booked a coaching client and then all of a sudden they turned around and changed your mind, which is an example from my own life. Um, if you can share those little things, it just builds that human connection that we so crave and so need in today's marketing world. The last world I'm going to be covering is lifestyles. So in this world, the stories are a quote unquote way of life. They go beyond the how someone works, where they live or who they live with and focus on their style, their attitudes, their views and their philosophies. So perfect example of this is every single Real Housewife show in the Housewife brand. Um, I am a Jersey girl. I literally just finished, before (laughs) pressing record, just finished the latest season of The Real Houses of New Jersey that's available on Hulu. I think I'm technically a season behind. So much drama. Even fun fact about me, a lot of the scenes that take place happen in my town and neighboring towns. I have never met any of them. I went to school, high school, with some of the past kids of past housewives. Um, So yeah, that's a fun fact about me. But it was totally drama-filled, totally enjoyed, (laughs) totally guilt pleasure of mine to watch any of the housewives. So I'm probably going to start the latest season of New York as well. But so what does this mean? What does this world of lifestyles mean for your brand and business? Amp up the drama break out your own housewives attitude that your audience just can't look away from i'm not saying go out flipping tables if you watch the new jersey housewives you know who i'm alluding to love her but don't be afraid to borrow a little of my jersey attitude to share with your audience so don't be afraid to like right now you can't see me i'm talking with my hands i am swaying my chair back and forth because i have so much that i want to share with you i have this kind of like attitude and drama that i want to bring into sharing this information with you so don't be afraid to be yourself be your personality you're from jersey you're italian talk with your hands don't be afraid to show that if you have a certain softer attitude don't be afraid to show that either don't be afraid to show yourself inside your social media or inside your brand inside your marketing at all don't feel like you have to fit in i'm talking a lot about tv but don't be a don't feel like you have to fit a certain character criteria make your character everything that you have ever wanted to be you were shy in high school and always wanted to be confident use this as your time to be that confident person through your brand and business you are in charge you are the leader you get to be whoever you want to be inside your brand and business and that's probably one of if not the best part of being a business owner and a brand owner is being able to be totally and authentically yourself So amp up the drama. So if you have a past example of what happened when you tried to transition your business from just service to coaching to or from coaching to just offering courses, I don't know. Think of a story that had a somewhat dramatic point and tell us that and amp that up and really bring us in on that story and tease it out and make us wait for the punchline and make us wait for the ending and make us just engage us as much as you can by telling this story in a super dramatic way and end with lifestyles 
it's in the title. They want to see more of that lifestyle. So just like in family matters, just like in nine to five, just like in growing pains, each of those have their own element of behind the scenes content. Same thing for lifestyles. We want to see what you're doing when you're not working. We want to see what you're, what you're doing when you're working. We want to hear about your programs. We want to hear about your services. We want to hear about the drama and all of those things. But if you can also infiltrate things that you're doing outside of your brand, outside of your business, inside your lifestyle, even if that is dramatic, above the drama. We love drama. Humans love drama. <laughs> um, if we can see a little bit more of that, it paints, again, a fuller picture of who you are as a person, what it would be like to work with you, what it would be like to be in your circle and be in that inner circle that you provide inside your, your programs and your services. So that those are the worlds that I feel most of our brands and our businesses would find or pull something from. If you're not sure if you fit in one of these, I feel like I fit in all of them at some points or another or different pieces of my brand and business would fit inside each of those. But there is a free quiz I put together. It's got some fun memes just to kind of see where you're at, see if that you know, resonates with you at all, or if you're not sure and you're curious or you think you know which one it is, it could just be just a fun thing to do. But definitely let me know what you feel your brand fits into, or if it's something completely different, let me know that as well. I'm always interested. Um, so quick update for you. The Brand Rescue is now officially open for enrollment. And we're going to be talking way more about these TV worlds and really defining what your brand universe, what your brand world looks like, what you want that to look like, and how you can make small adjustments to what you're current what we're currently seeing inside your brand, what we're you're currently producing inside your business to give your universe more of that interactive, engaging feel that you want or whatever changes you want to that brand world, whatever you want your audience to take away from your brand world. We're going to work through that in the first half of the program. We're going to work through those adjustments. We're going to work through those executions. In the second half, we are going to be teaching this storytelling principle and how you can truly 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 understand the art of storytelling how it relates to your marketing how the heck to do that in your marketing and to help you feel way more confident and way more aligned with the future of your brand and your business a lot of times and this is exactly why this course was created for my personal experience I completely lost sight of my bigger vision for my brand and business. I ha- I hit that point of success. I was able to leave my nine to five. I had a good roster of clients. I was really enjoying my client work. I still am really enjoying my client work. And all of a sudden I was like, all right, I'm ready to launch something new. And I looked up for my client work and I didn't really like what I was producing inside my brand and what I was offering inside my brand. I didn't I was good. I'm like kind of capped out at my client work and I don't really want to be doing more of that because I am so into their stories and being able to help them produce their stories for their own um, businesses. So I wanted to do, I want to transition into this teaching aspect for it, but I just really had to take a beat because I didn't like the services that I was offering to be able to teach that. And I didn't like how I was showing up online. I didn't like feeling like I had to fit in a box or fit a certain criteria to hit and just check off boxes in my marketing. I didn't like that I had to feel like I had to post three times a week and two reels a week and 15 TikToks a day. I didn't like feeling like I had to just check things off the box to stay relevant. And that's really what the Brand Rescue is kind of competing against is getting to the root of what it is you actually want to be doing and helping you transition and reestablish and revamp and enhance the heck out of your brand moving forward. So again, you feel so confident and realigned with that bigger vision you once had, whether that's the same vision or something completely new and making sure from here on out, you are in complete, complete alignment with your mission, your values, and the legacy you want to leave behind with your brand and your business and I don't care if that legacy is going to change 
five million people's lives or her legacy is going to change one person's life because here we believe in the ripple effect and how what we do what we say who we affect has this ripple effect and we don't even know the expansion of people we are going to affect positively by putting out one Instagram post by putting out one podcast by putting out one new program and enrolling five people we don't know what the effects are our job is to build the program They will come, we will invite them, we will engage with them, and the right people will find us in whatever format they are meant to find us. And the rest is whoever you believe, God, angels, universe, that's their job. But our job is to build it, and they will absolutely come. So you can totally, totally, totally go check out the brand rescue enrollment. We've got way more details than we had on the waiting list page. We've got more details of what exactly I'm going to be covering inside this six-month program, who it's right for, who it's not right for. But any questions you have, feel free to reach out to me. You know I'm always here to help. I'm super, super excited about it. Like I was saying, I have never been so aligned with a program that I've launched before and I've never had such an understanding of how I meant to help business owners ever before. So I'm very excited to have whoever (laughs) whoever is interested in the program inside the program and I'm excited for the really cool things that we'll be able to create together so go ahead and check that out questions comments concerns you know I'm always here I would love 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 if you gave this podcast if you enjoy this podcast if you shared it to your friends family whoever you feel needs to hear this and if you gave it a far five star writing it just helps us get ranked so we can get in front of more people like you who feel they need this information. Okay, with that, I will say farewell. I will see you next week and thank you for listening.